Good morning, Deer Park High School, and welcome to Deer Network. Today is Wednesday, April 13th, otherwise known as the National Peach Cobbler Day. I'm Oscar Valdez. And I'm Lucio Vasquez. We had to dig deep for that information, but if you're a fan of peaches covered in batter and baked in a golden crisp in a deep dish, today's your day. If not, we also have a pretty good darn broadcast that includes the ladies' state's number one ranked softball team and the senior advice for underclassmen. But first, the Deer Park High School Choir Department competed last week. All seven choirs received sweepstakes awards. They also received straight ones in both concert and sight reading. Congratulations to all the choir students and faculty for these accomplishments. And once again, the UIL one act play Rosencrantz and Guildenstern are dead competed last weekend. They advanced yet again, moving on to regionals in two weeks. Alec White, Eli Martinez, and Adrian Melendez were given the All-Star Cast Award, while Nick White earned Outstanding Technician. Congratulations to the theater department and break a leg at regionals. As the school year begins to wind down, the countdown for summer is on, and no one is more ready for June 2nd than seniors. As we reflect on our high school careers, and we thought it might be helpful to pass on some of the wisdom we've gained over the last four years. Underclassmen, take notes. The time is approaching for seniors to finish yet another chapter in their lives. As this very important chapter comes to an end, many of our very own dear are entering what our parents consider the real world. Here at the Deer Network, we wanted to find out advice seniors have to offer the underclassmen. Here's what they had to say. I was good about everything. Uh, wasn't bad at a lot of stuff, just turning in work and stuff. But uh, other than that, it was pretty easy. Just do your work. Um, I think about the social aspect of school or like being nice to people or like uh, talking to people and kind of being friends with everybody. I mean, I did well in school. I got good grades, so that's always good. That's kind of why you're here at school, to do good. I was good at playing tennis, and I was good at improv. I was, pretty, I was really good at math, but like every other subject, I was pretty good at too, but I think my good subject was math. <laughs> I was pretty good at math. Um, everything else I was good at. Making friends, not to sound conceited in any way, I just think that was easy. Nothing. I, was, I think I, I feel like I was pretty bad at like I guess the actual like schoolwork and doing like uh, all the grades and everything like that. I maintained a pretty uh, good grade uh, overall. I wasn't bad at anything. What are you talking about? Um, I would procrastinate a lot, so I guess that's bad. Like I would do my homework like the morning of <laughs> the day it was due. So I guess that will say. Uh, I don't know. Nothing. <laughs> I was actually bad at everything. <laughs> math. I'll go with math. <laughs> Don't do schoolwork. It's a waste of time. So, uh, honestly, I would just say, like, don't stress out over it because it sometimes doesn't really matter. Uh, but obviously take it very seriously because this is college and it's our future. For real, um, on the real, apply for scholarships. I know it sounds dumb, but do it and start early. That's it. Okay, but also make sure that you, at least once a week, um, leave school and go get lunch and come back. Make sure you do your homework, but never let your homework interfere with the Texans on Sunday. Don't procrastinate. I was there. Um, you need your sleep. I would sleep like really late. Advice from Mr. Jermaine for men. Don't use a coupon until the second date. Just make it to senior year and don't just blow it off. Like, take it seriously. Even though it's senior year, you should take it seriously. Thank you. Yeah. Wow, that was wide-ranging and mostly quality stuff. Seniors, if you have some wisdom you'd like to share with the underclassmen, tweet it using the hashtag SeniorAdvice. We'll retweet it and you can see your tweet right here on the Deer Network. In sports, the varsity tennis team, both boys and girls, won district championships. Congratulations to Joseph Salinas for winning the Boys Singles District Championship. The team of Alex Hernandez and Zachary May won the Boys Doubles District Championships, and Brian Wilmsley and Candace Johnson won the Mixed Doubles District Championship. Congratulations to the entire tennis team, and good luck at regionals. The Lady Deer softball team won again last night, destroying North Shore 11-1. We caught up with the state's number one ranked team as they prepare for playoffs. The girls varsity softball team has won two state championships and is on the road to the playoffs again this year, acknowledging the fact they are the number one ranked team in the state. But softball is more than just a game for some of these girls. 
Softball is basically life for all of us on this field. We're out here every day, uh, even on the weekends, maybe Sundays when we don't even have to practice. Um, when we're struggling, that's mostly what we do. And um, I think it's kind of a stress reliever for some people. Softball means definitely it's family. That's what it means to me. I've been playing with these girls for longer than four years. So, I mean, every day coming out here is a big deal to me. Uh, practice, games, no matter what it is, it's always going to be a big deal. It's important that we all stay together as a family. I mean, softball is its definitely a giant family. That's what it is here. It's something I work hard for, and it's something that if, like, if I do bad, it's like wasting your time. So like when we're not playing, I work my hardest. When I play, like I'm actually achieving what I've been trying to work on. And also when I graduate, I plan on playing on A&M, at A&M, on their team starting. So hopefully that gets me there with the hard work I've been doing. Softball's like life. You know, the ball bounces different ways. I mean, uh, get in position to make a, make a good play, it's just like life. You get in position to make good choices in life and more good things are gonna happen to you. So softball's like life. Um, play hard, play smart, and good things happen. Everything counts, no matter what you're doing. As soon as you step on the field, even before, your warm-ups, everything, it's attention to detail. Make sure you're doing everything right, not cutting any corners. And then another thing is uh, heart. Every game you come out here, there has to be a type of energy. And we know when that energy isn't there, and we have to bring it up. And it's, it's definitely something, it's a big deal. The energy and the paying attention to detail is a big deal for us. This is Andrew Green and Gus Torres reporting for the Deer Network. The girls play their last two regular season games on the road. They're next at Channel View this Friday night. And last but not least, the Deer Park baseball team continues their perfect season with a win over Port Arthur last night. Pitcher Royal Garcia has tossed a no-hitter as the Deer Park blanked the Titans 10-0. A huge congratulations to Royal and the entire baseball team. So just to be clear, we currently have the number one softball team and baseball team in the state of Texas. That's a pretty big deal. The boys travel to Westbrook this Friday before their next home game on Tuesday. Get out and support these teams. That's it for us today. For everyone here at the Deer Network, I'm Oscar Valdez. And I'm Lucia Vasquez. Have a great rest of the week, and if you eat cobbler today, make it peach. And go, go Deer! Deer.